Welcome to Ghost Ships episode 3. This is the second episode today. And to this episode, I'm going to be talking about the Carol A. D. Ring. And we actually don't know what. Well, we don't know what happened with any of these ships. Well, we don't know. Well, there's just tons and tons of theories, and there's mutiny, piracy, the burning of the triangle, obviously, and because it's America, communists, and it it was a five master commercial schooner uh, on its way back from delivering some coal from Virginia to Rio and during a supply stop in Barbados the first mate was arrested for making threats against the supposedly interfering and not so sharp eyed captain but was released on bail and therefore and and forgiven before the ship moved on towards its destination of Norfolk, Virginia. The ship was spotted when it hailed the Cape Lookout Lightship in North Carolina, and a man with a foreign accent on board told the lightship's keeper that the vessel had lost its anchors. But the next time it was seen was when it ran aground in Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, the crew, their belongings and the lifeboats all were missing. The crew was never located and the US government has never come up with an official ex explanation. Communists going to America. And they actually does say it did say in the research that I was doing that they considered foul play by rum runners or communist pirates set on capturing American ships. Today conspiracy theories often use the Deering as an example of the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle. Because yeah. Despite the fact that the ship was far away, was far away from it by the time the crew disappeared. And just lifeboats missing. Probably dropped them. No crew found. Probably drowned. Lifeboats go. Lifeboats get dropped with crew in them. Crew goes on sea, storm, drown. Makes a lot more sense than, oh, we're, we're America. Um, you know, communists. Yeah. So, good for America. 